Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here, and welcome back to Sky Factory. When last we left off, I built these generators, and there's a third one that's full of power in there. But, uh, yes, I was checking, or I wanted to know more or less what the difference between these two things are. And what I've boiled down to, they're exactly the same. So they function identically, they use the same amount of power, the only difference is this one's a little bit more expensive to make, if I recall. Uh, or is it the cheaper one? I don't remember. One of them is cheaper to make, and this one holds more RF. So I'm assuming this one's the more expensive one. But yeah, they basically function the same, use the same amount of power, basically get the same drops. So yeah, that is that. Um, I've also done a couple of minor tweaks, and by minor, one of them is pretty major, to uh, a couple of different things. The first one, if we go through here, yeah, I have completely redone how the mob system organizes things. All of these are basically empty except for like some minor items for clear out, which is just heads and these things which I didn't want to build barrels for. But we had a barrel with our old mob system and I've had to do some upgrades in order to be able to hold all the loot bags we get. But we can at any time pull whatever we need and we're good to go, including Minisio Essence, which is more or less the reason I put this together. Ooh, hey, eat those head. Dude. So, yes. I might do something with these heads eventually. Maybe decorate the place. So, yes, that is a thing. Ah. There's also the assorted, gen or the kind of random bags, like the bacon ones and the wild ones. I still haven't opened that wild bag. I have no idea what's in them. But, yes, this area now has a chest for completed metals, so that I could clean up this area a little bit. And I'm just eating that one there for extra bags. I clearly need some more inventory room. I've gotten rid of a lot of the other junk items that we had kind of laying around. Music discs are next to go when I start running low on space. But, I digress. I've started filling this with iron that we've been getting from the whole sifting process because I need iron for basically everything. And, if we head over to the farm... Oh yes, these. I discovered what the deal is with them. They do go faster. And they will use normal fuel, and because they go faster, you only need half as much fuel per stack, which is incredibly useful. Like, no idea how useful that is. So, without further ado, I'm going to get to the project we had today, which is... I'm going to grab some of these, and some of uh, these... Do I want to build out of cobblestone or regular stone? Everything on the bottom there is made out of cobblestone. Then again, it's also under dirt and has that nice kind of like layered effect. Um, yeah, I already do have one smooth stone area. Hmm, do I want smooth stone? Yeah, hell with it. We'll get, we'll bring both kinds of stone. And we'll build, or grab some of this. What I need right now is to maximize our Minisio Essence production because. Yeah, if I'm going to finish this up, like in terms of actually getting things done, or getting out of the farming age, we're going to need it. So let's make a bunch of that. Let's grab our normal blocks. These ones, this one, these ones. That should be more than enough. And just in case, we'll grab our chisel, which I'm looking forward to using this obsidian chisel I made a while ago. All right. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. So. Headed through here. Oh, yes. One more thing to do, because I actually showed it off last episode, but we didn't actually tick it off. But we actually finally did make the farm that used the sprinkler. So crafting iron seeds, diamond seeds, and the growth pulsers thing, which is what we're going to be doing today. And then grinding our way through magical crops to get this Zavisio infused armor. Which, yeah. I looked that up, is going to be expensive. So Zavisio, this is the stuff. Dude, shift, negate fall damage. It's pretty interesting. So there's, yeah. We gotta infuse it with whatever we want, but we gotta make it first. And to make it, 
we need Zavisio ingots and to actually make the armor before and it's a long arduous process all the way up and I'm going to be upgrading these furnaces as we go too even though they look terrible standing there like that I need to make a new we need to rearrange it slightly anyway so the current way of getting the various kinds of seeds we need is because the seed drops for Minikio essence or yeah, I like call it Minicio even though it's Minikio uh, is fuse regular seeds with Minikio essence which yeah, is, is a thing I've currently got basically a stack of Minikio every time I clear this out but it's really being stingy with the seeds yeah as I shall demonstrate to and I need to turn this Minikio into blocks because I'm going to need a few more basically to do what I wanted to do I need four stacks where did I lose that seed there it is I wish I could right-click this like I can the wheat, but it does not work with the quick button pressing. So you gotta double tap real quick. Where's my other seed? No, I can't lose a seed. There we go. Visual glitches. All right, and then last but not least, this section. And since I've actually organized the mob system to have our basic drops, I've noticed that it does not make nearly as much Minikio as I believed. Because I was hoping that I could cut this kind of farm out and then just use it for other things and then get the Minikio from the mob system. But alas, it does not look that way. But yeah, I just replaced 64 seeds and got just two. Sorry, I replaced 62 seeds apparently. And that is currently occupied. Alright, so, first things first, I'm gonna make as many growth pulses as we can, because I'm gonna start on this project. And let's make... Yeah, let's put it all in here. And, what was it, 44 per thing? And... 4... 44? 44 times 4 would be... 120... That's way too much. Sixteen... There we go. No, it was right. So that's all the stone we'll need for the rest of the growth pulsars. We just need the diamonds and more Minikio essence. So yes, now for the tricky thing. I'm going to close this and we are going to be digging right here. And I'm going to put water right here and Okay, I need to stay above. Alright, now I want to build Crap, I can't get out of here. Crap! No, no, we're going to die. Maybe, maybe. No, we're going to die. The water's not falling fast enough. Shit. No! Well, plus side, it's right there, and we've already got the water stream going down. You can see it branching. All right, uh, I gotta go get some slabs. But today's goal is going to be making a bottom level so I can put those growth pulsars in, and then possibly, possibly making some more st or um. Expanding the farm area. Uh, let's grab these and these. I'm actually out of oak wood, so I need to be harvesting some more. 
Nye, nye. There we go. Make a solid 59. I don't want to lose any of the stuff that's down there. And I'm going to grab this bucket so that I can move the water one more up. I'll put this away for now. Alright. So much for putting those growth pulsers in, because those, those growth pulsers are actually down with the grave. Ah. Alright. Get out of here, pig. Every now and again, pigs dive into the water stream and get stuck in my farm. It pisses me off. Alright. Let's put that there. Can leave the buckets here for now. And down we go. Okay. Oh no, Grave, please tell me. Please tell me there's a dirt block under you. Ah, crap. Damn it. Alright then. This just got a whole lot harder. Because the water prevented the block from spawning. Oh, glorious day. Alright then. Uh, uh. Shit. Fark. Okay, whoa, crud. All right, yeah. How are we gonna do this? Okay. I have a plan for getting this back. It's going to be a bitch to pull off, though. First things first. Uh. This has so many important things in it. Uh. Shite. There are probably ways they could do this better. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to swim back up here. <sighs> this was not the episode I wanted. Thankfully, we can see from the light pattern at the bottom there, we know exactly where we need to actually place these growth pulsers. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to go up here, and I'm actually going to remove the water source and place it back down so that the water is only pouring in one direction. And then we should be able to keep it pouring in one direction. Whoop. Damn it, come on. Let's get out. Please. Please. Yes. Alright. Cool. So now, remove the water. And replace it. I'm going to replace it when I get back, because I also want... Because those items are right above the void. So, we need a plan. Or at least... Uh, I'm gonna grab... Two chests. And... I'm gonna use this iron. I should grab three chests. Three chests! That and that iron. I'm gonna go in here, grab one ender pearl. And go in here and grab one piece of obsidian. Then... We're gonna make Damn it, I need to actually make that into an eye vendor. Thankfully I have a little bit of blaze powder. Lucky me. Alright. 
dude. Let's make a vacuum hopper. Now, we replace the water. Give me some of these. Yum, 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 yum. Alright. Boop. Okay. And then... Now the water should flow in one direction. Yep, it's in the grave and only going in one direction. Perfect. Alright. I love how this was going to be completing another task, and now it's just turned into how to get these items back. Because I made a stupid mistake. Okay. So we wanted this to be three out, because that's about the maximum range that it's going to pop out of the grave. I'm thankful for the grave, not too thankful for this situation that it's wound me in. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to place this here, 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 just to push the water off. All right, now, placing the vacuum hopper right behind... Whoa, fuck! It updated the water. <laughs> huh. All right, then. That should still be fine. Place this... These chests... I want the output to be there. No, not the experience output. I want the regular output to be there. So that should pop it in there. All right, and fingers crossed. Come on, 50%, 60%, 70, 80, 80. Oh, shit. Crap, I broke the vacuum hopper. Son of a bitch. All right. Shit, now I gotta go make another vacuum hopper. Those aren't cheap. Uh. Alright, and by removing that one wood bit, it makes that the shortest road again for the water. So when I update it with the vacuum hopper by accident, it won't fly off into the distance, or it won't go in all directions. Come on. Don't drown, please. Don't want to drown. Uh, and up. Uh, perfect. Okay. <sighs> Gotta go make another vacuum hopper. This was a brilliant idea, and I screwed it up by breaking the vacuum hopper. I should have paid attention to the tooltip at the top. Alas. Where did I get nine levels of experience from? Blaze powder, ender pearl, one more piece of iron. That's electrical steel. Where's iron? Do I have no iron? Huh. All right then, fine. One piece of iron, one chest, and one piece of obsidian, which I have plenty of, thankfully. Then, wait, I gotta make this first. Then I gotta make this. Vacuum hopper. All right. Sucks that I lost the vacuum hopper, though. I'm always concerned that the burning sound is going to be my island burning down. All right. Let's try this again. Vacuum hopper should, hopper should break with hand. Whoa! Yeah, no, let's put that back. Okay.
wonder if I can quickly put the slab in there, too. Maybe. Alright, so this will update the water. Doot. This side. Cool. It's going to the right place. Alright, now... Two, three. Oh. That looks like everything. Let's put the iron armor back on. Make sure my tools are all present. Yes. My random baubles, which I have this thing, which splinches nearby Enderman. I have no idea what it does, but put the mundane crap back on. We got the growth pulsars, we got the seeds, my chisel's okay. I think we got everything. Awesome. We even got that piece of wood that we took from the bottom. Alright, now... Take the vacuum hopper back, because it's useful. Um, yeah, the chest can probably go. I don't need it. Oops, wrong button. Alright, and oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's not die today, please. Alright. Oh, so that is that. That was getting all that crap back. I'll put some of this stuff in a chest, and then I'm going to prepare for next episode. So till then, this will be Isaac Zephyr signing out. Avoiding death, and I'll see you all later, heroes.